welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend uh, mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today's safety talk is about working at height safety to keep you safe when working at elevated levels fall protection gear whenever you work at heights always wear the appropriate fall protection gear such as a harness and lanyard this equipment can save your life in case of a fall gear inspection before using fall protection equipment, inspect it carefully to ensure it's in good condition. Check for any signs of wear, damage, or defects. Prevent falling objects, secure all tools and equipment with lanyards or tethers to prevent them from falling and endanger others below. Use guardrails and safety nets. When working near edges, use guardrails, safety nets, or barricades to prevent accidental falls. Weather conditions, avoid working at heights during adverse weather conditions such as high winds, rain, or storms. These conditions increase the risk of accidents. Training is key, make sure you have received proper training on working safely at heights. Knowing the right techniques and precautions is essential for your safety. Remember, safety at heights is a shared responsibility. By following these guidelines, we prevent accidents and ensure a safer workplace for everyone. Hello again, dear learners. We're back with another informative session of our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're going to delve into a crucial topic, quality control during fabrication. Quality control during fabrication is essential to ensure that the piping system is built to the highest standards. Let's explore the key points. Proper fabrication processes, it's crucial to follow approved fabrication procedures to ensure the integrity of the piping system. This includes cutting, bending, and joining processes. Material inspection and verification, ensuring that the materials used meet the required specifications is vital. Material properties, dimensions, and identification should be thoroughly checked. Welding quality and inspection, welds play a critical role in the strength and integrity of the pipe of the piping system. Welding procedures, techniques, and inspections must meet the specified standards. Dimensional accuracy and tolerances, precise measurements and adherence to tolerances are important to ensure proper fit and function of the piping components. Maintaining quality control during fabrication is essential to avoid potential issues down the line. This ensures the safety and reliability of the piping system. Stay tuned for our next topic, Erection and Installation Guidelines. We'll be exploring the best practices for installing the fabricated piping system. Keep learning and expanding your understanding. Hello there, eager learners. Welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for the successful implementation of a piping system, erection and installation guidelines. When it comes to erecting and installing a piping system, 
there are key guidelines you must follow to ensure its proper functioning and longevity. Let's explore these guidelines in detail. Proper alignment, it's important to align piping components accurately to avoid stress concentration and ensure smooth fluid flow. Adequate support, or providing the right supports is essential to prevent sagging, vibration, and excessive loads that can compromise the system's integrity. Welding and joint integrity, follow approved welding procedures to maintain the integrity of joints and prevent potential leaks. Flange installation, Properly installing flanges is crucial for effective sealing and preventing any leakage from connections. Piping clearance, leave enough space between the piping and nearby structures or equipment to accommodate thermal expansion. Handling and lifting, use proper lifting techniques and equipment to prevent damage during the installation process. Bolt tightening, follow recommended procedures for tightening bolts to ensure tight joints and prevent leaks. Valve installation, install valves correctly to ensure they function smoothly without causing leaks or blockages. Hydrostatic testing, perform hydrostatic tests to verify the system's integrity and identify any leaks before putting the system into operation. Documentation, keep comprehensive records of the installation process, including well details, inspections, and test results. Following these guidelines will ensure that your piping system is installed correctly and ready for safe operation. Stay tuned for our next topic, post-fabrication examination and inspection. We're almost there on our journey of learning. Hello and welcome back to our ASME B31.3 30 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we'll be delving into post fabrication examination and inspection. This is a crucial step to ensure the quality and integrity of your piping system after fabrication. After the pipes have been fabricated and the system is set up, it's essential to thoroughly examine and inspect the entire system. Let's go through the key points of post-fabrication examination and inspection. Visual check. Start by visually inspecting the pipes for any noticeable defects, irregularities, or damage. This can give you an initial idea of the condition of the pipes. Weld inspection. Carefully examine the welds that connect the pipes. Check for proper penetration, alignment, and overall quality. Welds are critical points in the system and need close attention. Non-destructive testing, utilize non-destructive testing methods such as ultrasonic testing, radiography, or dye penetrant inspection. These techniques help identify any hidden flaws or defects that might not be visible to the naked eye. Dimensional checks, verify that the dimensions and alignments of the pipes are in line with the design specifications. Proper dimensions are essential for the correct functioning of the system. Material verification, ensure that the correct materials have been used as specified in the design. This step is crucial to avoid compatibil compatibility issues and ensure the system's longevity. Documentation review, thoroughly review the documentation, including welding logs, inspection records, and material certificates. This helps confirm that all processes followed the required standards. Pressure test, per hydrostatic test to assess the system's integrity under pressure. This test helps identify any leaks or weaknesses in the system that might not be evident otherwise. Final assessment, evaluate the overall system to ensure it meets the required standards and is ready for operation. Assessment is crucial to ensure safety and functionality. By conducting a comprehensive post-fabrication examination and inspection, you can identify and address any potential issues before the system is put into operation. This step contributes significantly to the overall quality and reliability ability of the piping system. In our next session, we will be discussing requirements for pipe insulation. So, stay tuned and keep building your knowledge.
by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching